Our artwork today is inspired by the artist Juan Miró. Miró was born in Barcelona, Spain in 1893, and he lived until he was 90. He was a painter, a ceramist, and a sculptor. This is some of his artwork. He was known for his use of bright colors and simple shapes. Can you recognize some shapes and colors? Can you see some creatures in his images? You might see something that looks like a bird or a fish or a person, while other people might see something different. When I was in Barcelona, I went to the Museum of Modern Art, Fundación Mirá. These are images of my kids and sculptures that Mirá did a long time ago. Can you see they look like creatures? So today we're going to create an artwork inspired by Juan Miró's artwork. You're going to need markers and two pieces of paper. So put everything aside and leave just one paper and a black marker. So for this first part of the project, you're going to look at Miró's paintings and see the images that you like best. And you're going to design some images like Miró did. So I'm designing one of the image that I saw in one of his paintings. So I want you to go ahead and see which ones you like best. Go ahead and start designing them as you see it. It's okay if it's a little bit different. Pay attention to the lines and shapes. Mira liked to use lots of circles, triangles, and long lines. So you will see that some of his images look like animals or a face. Also, some of his images look like bodies, a moving body, like a dancing figure. You will see that some look like stars, just like this one over here. You are just using black marker right now. You can fill some of the spaces with black color. Some of his images don't look like anything, they are just interesting shapes. So go ahead and do about six or seven different images. Once you are done, you're going to place your image aside and we're going to do the second part of this project. Okay, I think I'm done. So I'm going to take my other piece of white paper and my black marker again. So for this part, you're going to need to close your eyes. Place your marker on the paper and you will do a long line counting to 10. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, then you open your eyes and you will see the design that you just did. Now you take your drawings and you will choose which designs you want to incorporate into your line drawing. You do not need to use all the drawings that you did before. Just choose the ones that you like best and you can place them on the side of your line. They can touch. Sometimes they can be inside of your line drawing. You will choose the place that you like better to add them. I'm going to do the star because I saw that Juan Miró liked to use this star shape a lot. So look at your design and think where you want to place your shapes. I think I'm going to place this one inside of the line drawing. I will add a few more shapes and then I'll be done. Okay, I think I'm done. So now I'm going to take my color markers and I'm going to choose a few spaces to color. So let's see. I'm going to start with this red space over here. So each space is going to have a color. I cannot add red around the same spot that I just colored. But you can add the same color far away in another spot. I'm going to add some red over here as well. And I'm going to change my color now. Perhaps some yellow over here. So if I have yellow on this space, the spaces around that should not be yellow. The yellow 
should be far away from this one that I just colored, like here or there. So Mira like to use lots of primary and secondary colors. I use yellow and red as my primary. I'm using green as my secondary color. And I will use blue last. Remember, use a different color in every section. So the same color is not touching each other. Okay, now I'm gonna add my last color. Let's see how it's going to look. So you can see I'm adding blue and my blue it's close to the yellow, it's close to the red, it's close to the green. But I'm not adding blue side by side with blue. So when you think you are done, take a look at your drawing again and see what other color you'd like to add. I'm gonna add this yellow on top of my star and some red on this section over here. Yeah, I think I'm done now. I really hope you like this project. I can't wait to see yours.